I got out of the Marines in, in 2003 after um, after the stop move stop loss was over and you know major combat operations in Iraq were thought to be over and um, yeah my, my time was up I did my enlistment plus plus some and uh, decided to go to school I really didn't know you know what I was interested in um, nothing I was really passionate about and I kind of just fell into psychology and once I started you know learning about psychology it occurred to me that you know not only is, this, is there this niche for me to, to perhaps pursue military psychology, but it started to become you know, a passion when I realized I could use my experience as both street credibility and also insight um, to, to, to help other service members, to help other veterans um, you know, navigate the transition to civilian life, but also deal with you know, the stressors of um, you know, combat and, and just the daily stressors of military life. Uh, my name is Rich Blake. I'm the executive director of the 6th Branch. Uh, we are a nonprofit that uses the leadership and skills of military veterans to carry out aggressive community service initiatives. Uh, Operation Oliver, Oliver is the name of this neighborhood, and it's also the name of a partnership and initiative we have uh, with ourselves, with Come Home Baltimore, and the Veteran Artist Program. Come Home Baltimore does development in the neighborhood, turning vacant shells into uh, green homes and the Veteran Artist Program helps implement an artistic component to Operation Oliver via murals like the one you see there and also by installing gardens and green spaces. So we started working in this neighborhood uh, about six months ago and have since removed more than 60 tons of garbage from the streets and alleyways, planted upwards of 75 trees. We've adopted a few lots which we're installing gardens in this spring. We've been working with the youth from the neighborhood. Uh, Come Home Baltimore is doing all kinds of stuff, bringing uh, new residents in via renters and, and, and homeowners. Uh, we have two murals, and thanks to a fundraising campaign we just completed yesterday, we were about to put a third one up. Um, so there's a lot going on, and we've accomplished a lot, thanks to, to groups like this that keep coming. I was just, you know, after a yoga class for veterans from Semper Fidelis Health and Wellness, I was, I just kind of threw the idea out there as a joke, and uh, their director Elijah said, well, you know, I, I know some folks that are actually into bikes, might be able to get you one, and I just kind of, you know, impulsively as I usually do, said, you know, well, screw it, let's let's do this, let's let's I'll bike back to active duty and raise some money for uh, a couple of, you know, great organizations that I've been involved with, and so. Uh, I'm traveling back to duty on a bike, you know, and in my private, my last, you know, civilian private capacity, uh, just decided to, to keep giving back and, um, yeah, I just wanted to continue to support the organizations as I leave and hopefully leave a little, you know, piece behind that, you know, might make a little bit more of a difference. So what do you think the, the psychological challenge of doing this is? Well, it's a long time on a bike. I mean, 11, 12 hours a day to make my, uh, you know, I need to do over 100 miles a day in order to make it to duty on time and not be AWOL. Uh, so it's just a lot of time to spend on a bike. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to it. I think there's gonna be uh, finally time for me to reflect without the madness of, uh, you know, being in class, trying to take care of the nonprofit, you know, updating the website, following the Facebooks, and, you know, just time to get away from the phone a little bit and, uh, you know, be out there and reflect on my time in Baltimore. Honestly, the biggest challenge for this trip for me, I doubt will be, uh, it's not going to be endurance. I mean, I've always been good with endurance. I'm hoping nothing quirky happens that, that I get, you know, injured. It's certainly not going to be an issue of endurance. Uh, that's always been a strength of mine. Um, it's a long time to be on a bike every day and, and, and day in and day out. So, that, you know, I'm going to have a sore tailbone. That's going to be, you know, something to fight through. But uh, in terms of strength and endurance, I'm going to be good. Well, you know, Semper Fidelis Health and Wellness is uh, just a great organization. They're probably under-recognized. I mean, they're, they're doing mandatory regimental training at Camp Lejeune for some units. Uh, they do free yoga for veterans here in Baltimore on Saturday nights, which we're planning on going to this evening. And, uh, you know, they just do so many good things for, for veterans, whether they're wounded uh, or whether they're just veterans trying to uh, transition back to civilian life or maintain balance or just continue in uh, the realm of you know fitness and even extreme fitness, and it's uh, you know 
there's just no reason not to support them, I and mean, that's why we've tried to work closely with them uh, as the sixth branch here in Baltimore. So, other than Semper Fidelis Health and Wellness, I'm donating half of my uh, the rest of the fundraising, which my goal is $25,000, uh, to the sixth branch, so they can continue these efforts um, here in Baltimore. And you know, if you've heard of our current initiative, Operation Oliver, it's been a you know tremendous uh, rev revitalization project in East Baltimore. And uh, you know, funding has been an issue, and you know, even something as little as you know twelve thousand dollars, if I could raise that, you know, could be you know a huge help, and it could make me feel like I left something behind that the guys could still work with, and just leave a piece of me here. Um, so I just hope to continue to support it in some way and see it through, even if it's from afar. Yeah. 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 Yeah.